Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Christine and I am the Kraken Reseller and in this video I'm going to do a jewelry unboxing of a five pound mystery lot from Goodwill Blue Box, New Jersey. So let's get cracking. Alright guys. I don't know about you guys, but I have not ordered a Goodwill Blue Box five pound mystery jewelry lot in probably a year. Yeah, it's probably been about a year. Um, I got a weird feeling, not this past Friday, but the Friday before last, to go ahead and order it. And I did. I don't know what, <laughs> what pushed me to do that, but I did. And I ordered two. I ordered two. Oh, that's insane, right? Because of the prices right now. Um, everybody's videos I've been seeing, it's just been really awful and I don't know what possessed me to do that but I did thankfully when I got the tracking information it said it was coming from New Jersey yay so for what I've been seeing people have really good luck with New Jersey I don't know why that is maybe it's because they got their together <laughs> so I don't know um, am I gonna order another box after this I don't know is this gonna be my last box I don't know, but I did open the box because I wasn't sure if I was going to use it as a thumbnail and I did take a peek and I'm very excited. So you have to keep watching and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the camera down so you guys can get um, a better view of me opening the box and or opening the bags. It came in bags. It's awesome. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down and let's see what we got. All right, guys. Oh, first impressions. Ooh, I don't know. Gosh, um, it's really just hard to determine when it's in the bag like this. We really need to just pour it out, pull one by one, and see what we got. So I got my little basket here, my little Southwest basket. These are all over the place here in Arizona. I find these all the time at. <laughs> the thrift stores. So I'm just going to pour it all out. See what we got. Uh, I actually, there's some good stuff in here I can see already. I recognize some of this stuff. There's some catalog jewelry in here. Oh, they put those in there now? Yeah, well, if they do, good, because I've gotten some pretty nasty, smelly uh, boxes from other locations. So, all right, so let's take a look one by one okay so this this is beautiful wow oh this feels nice too is this i don't know amber and i don't really collect it and i don't have my black light anywhere either so i can't i can't check that but oh that's really nice maybe lucite maybe or what is that one where uh people say they it's melted down and then and reshaped Maybe that's it. I don't know. Oh, I'll have to check that out. Oh, I like that. I like how they got the same color too for the thread. I actually really like that. All right, so got an earring, a little silica packet. Okay, this is. Hmm. This is. This looks worn. Okay, wait a minute. Maybe I'm not holding it right. Oh, yeah, no. What's going on here? Why is this? Um, wait, what? Where's the clasp? Oh, it's up here. Okay. <laughs> All right, so... Okay, okay, okay. I see now. I see now. All right, so we've got, like, three stars here. Some kind of, like, Southwest vibe going on here. Okay, and then these need to be moved down. There we go. There we go. Um, it needs a bath. It really needs a bath. It's got that copper look, and it's all over, so maybe that's the way it's supposed to look. Oh, no, there's silver there. Hmm, that might be worn. Uh, I'll still give it a bath, though, because just in case, let's see how it looks. Nope. Shoot, is that where? No, I think that's just a reflection from my light, but I like that piece. Even if it was craft, I might take that off. 
Okay, stretchy bracelet. No. Oh, we have some earrings. They have some scratches on there, but those are cute. Um, there's no maker's mark, but those are cute. Okay, so a wood beaded necklace. Mm, come on. This is, this looks familiar. Let me see here. There is no maker's mark on here. There, yes, there is a maker's mark. Where is my magnifying glass? Let me get in my drawer here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so, oh, that's Premier Design. Okay, thought that looked familiar. I've actually, I think I've seen this before. Okay, so that is a keeper. Loving that one. I'm gonna put that up there. It's earrings. Okay. okay, so we've got a couple pieces here. So we've got another earring that is tangled. Okay, so that's actually cute. I'm going to put the earrings aside. We'll do this later. This is just a silver tone necklace. No maker's mark, but it's actually pretty cute. That's cute. Okay. And then this one. Okay, so... That looks like bone. So, yeah, that's bone beads. Little Southwest style necklace. Okay, a uh, part of an earring. Oh! That goes with this one. I wonder if the other piece might be in there. We'll see. <clears throat> okay, so this is... Okay, so this is two strand, but it's got a lot of wear all over. You can you can see all the copper coming through on there. I mean, it was silver tone, but it's not anymore. So, junk. Okay, so this is a necklace and bracelet set. Okay. That's not bad. I don't see any peeling. That. Okay, yeah. So, set that aside. And I'll, anything that's sellable, I will put measurements in the slides. Okay, so that's actually really nice. It's got all kinds of different little danglies on here, little charms, little rhinestones. I like that. That's in good condition, so it just needs a bath. Just needs a bath to clean up some of this fabric, and yeah, pretty easy to do. Okay, so we have a, probably a faux pearl. Yeah, faux pearl stretch bracelet. Alright guys, so... This is just a tassel necklace, gold tone. It's actually not in bad condition. It looks like it's in good condition, so that's a keeper. Uh, this is just a faux pearl bracelet. Um, yeah, I don't trust the stretch on that one. All right, so this is a vintage crystal necklace. Very beautiful with AB stones on there. No maker's marks. It's got the shepherd clasp, the shepherd hook clasp. Here we go. That is very pretty. Where's actually where's my little bust? I want to see this one on a bust. This is really nice. Oh, that's cute. <clears throat> that is really cute. I like that. Ugh. Bust is always a little dusty, dusty. Okay. Yeah, that is really nice. I like that. That's beautiful. Definitely a seller. We've got a gold tone necklace here. Um, it's got a toggle clasp and it has a price tag of $19 on there. Uh, this looks like something from paparazzi. Nothing against paparazzi. I have tons of paparazzi. I love paparazzi jewelry. But it has some bubbling on the 
under the metallic here, the gold tone color. Yeah, see, look, it's got all that bubbling on there. Ooh, not good. Okay. Not worth $19, that's for sure. Okay, ooh, this is pretty, wow. Those are beautiful beads, wow. So is that, that's an infinity necklace, there's no clasp on there. Ooh, that is nice. These feel like glass. That is beautiful. Ooh, ooh, oh, that would go with my shirt. <laughs> that is nice. Like that one. And then this one. I don't know what's going on here. It's not very good. It doesn't lay down well. And if it does, it's it's makes it look like a bracelet. So yeah, there's a little bit of wear on there. So nope on that one. Then this one has a tassel. It is faux pearls. This looks old, but it's got peeling on all the the little, um, I don't know, the gold tone beads. All the gold is coming off, so not a good one on that one either. Okay, so this is a shell necklace, but all the paint has just come off on that, so no brand. Oh, wait, what is that? No, no brand, so yeah. And then this one is got a earring on there. We'll put that aside. This is just some glass beads. Sorry guys, let me zoom in a little bit there. Goodness. Okay. I've got less than an hour before my kids start coming home. Okay, so little Southwest necklace. That's actually pretty cute. I like that. I like the colors. It matches my <laughs> matches my nails. Look at that. <laughs> oh, there's a oh, it's Charming Charlie's. Some stuff in there is really nice, and some of it is not. But uh, that's actually pretty nice. I like that. Then this is a oh, we got another earring. Oh, that's cute. What do they call us? Millefiori or dichroic glass? So, oh, that's cute. I'm not a fan of the leather strap. Or it's not even leather. I think it's just material. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, and then this is just a chain. Where's my magnet? Let's see here. Gosh. Okay. Oh, that's... Hmm. Okay, I'll test that later. Okay. Got a cloisonne bracelet. That's nice. Let's see. I just want to take a gander. Sometimes I like to take the measurements of the ones I really, really, really like. All right. Oh, okay. It's 2.5, so it's over seven inches. Because 2.3 is seven, so this is probably seven and a half. Very nice. Uh, stretchy. It's lost its stretch. Nope. A, a fashion ring. It does have some wear on the inside. <clears throat> All right, so this looks like the other piece to that other earring over there. Here's another earring. Okay, so we've got a wood bead and necklace. Um, I don't think that, oh yeah, I guess that is a necklace, yep. And then we got a really pretty brooch, but sadly the gold has peeled off right here. Oh, that's a bummer. Um, no maker's mark on there. That would be good for crafting, though. All right, so we got another one. This is another brooch. Um, it's got a lot of scratching on there. You can see that. That is a bummer. It is by Monet. So that might be a good one. <clears throat> I've already poked myself with this thing. Okay, there we go. Um, this one. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, wow. Holy smokes, that's gorgeous. Ooh, I like that. There is a maker's mark on there. Let's see what that is. That is, oh, it's upside down. That is Crown Trafari. Wow, that is stunning. I love that. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful green, beautiful. Okay, so now... We've got a stretch bracelet that has lost its stretch. Uh, sometimes you got to check under here because there might be a maker's mark in here, but it's kind of hard to see sometimes because the elastic is in the way. 
but it's got all of its rhinestones, so it looks really nice. Um, I might put this aside to have it uh, I'll re thread that at a later time. Okay. That's, so this is just a nice gold chain. It has some design here. And it does have a me. Oh, it's Sarah Coventry. So a nice gold chain. Oh, you can see it's got wear all right there. Ugh, bummer. Okay. So here's a coil bracelet or memory bracelet. And then this one. Ooh, I like this one too. I like it when there's stuff in there that's real nice. Let's see how wide this one is. Okay, so that's 2.6. Oh yeah, I can fit that. I usually wear a standard 7, but when it comes to bangles, it has to be bigger. It's like a 7.5 or 8 to put it over my hand. I actually really like that one too. Ooh, ooh, I might keep that one. <laughs> so, okay, so nice, cute, stretchy gold tone heart bracelet. That's actually really nice. That's cute. And then this one is, okay, so it's a heart hematite, probably what, quartz, rose quartz. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I like that. That's like one of the prettier ones. Ooh, that's beautiful. Okay, I'll give that one a bath. That'll be nice. Okay, so we've got, this is just, ooh, this is not, it's just, I guess it's just really dirty. It's got pave bead here in the middle. It's got all its rhinestones and its gold tone. I think it's just dirty. Um, I'll give it a bath. Uh, hot water will actually um, make lay, let this lay flat. Oh, it's magnetic. Okay, yeah. So, okay, I'll just wash that. Let me take this bracelet off. There we go. Some more stuff here. Okay, so this is... This is just a pearl necklace. No maker's mark. It's really cute. These are good for layering. It's glass. I don't see any peeling. Good condition, knotted in between. Not bad. This one is a chain. It did not stick to my magnet, so, oh, no, it did. Okay, so it's just a silver tone chain. Oh, it, you know what? Oh, does that say silver? Oop, flip over. No, I don't think it says anything. I think it's just dirty. But it's a silver tone chain. It's actually pretty nice. Let's save that. Okay, so then we've got a silver bangle. I don't see any wear on it. I see dirt. Um... Oh yeah, it does have a pool, so it needs a bath. Okay, so what do we got next? This is actually really pretty. I hope I like this. This is pretty. This is probably Japan or, or Germany. I love these vintage beads. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's really tiny. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see that. Japan, yep. I just sold a purple one. Um, it was in one of my previous videos. I just sold it. I have my store on sale for President's Day weekend. And so I've been selling some jewelry. Oh, it's got a scratch on there. Bummer. Um, I'll have to disclose that. Gosh, okay. Bummer. Okay. This, this looks old. My mom used to have jewelry with these leaves on it back in the 70s. Uh, no clasp on there, and it's got a lot of wear, so, no. Okay, and this, okay, oh, we got some, oh, we got two earrings that match, nice. Okay, so this will go set aside, and we have a gold chain, it's good condition, no maker's mark on there. That'll get set aside. That's that really, really gold, gold color. And this. Uh, there's no clasp on it. So, yeah. This looks like one of those anklets that I used to wear when I was a kid. <laughs> so, 
Okay, and then we got some earrings. We'll look at that later. And oh, isn't that cute? Oh, those are cute little beads. What do they call that? What do they call that? Confetti or confetti cake? Those are cute. That's actually really cute. They look like squished marbles. Okay, another earring. Another earring. Another earring. Ah, saw this in the bag. That's actually really nice. Okay, so that is a scarab bracelet. It's probably quartz. Um, what is that? I can't remember the name of that. Rose quartz. Maybe lapis. Jade. Carnelian. Yes, carnelian. There we go. <laughs> so, okay, so uh, there is some wear on there, so I don't think this is gold. I think this is just a gold tone. Yeah, there's a little bit of wear on the sides, so it just needs a bath. And then, oh, isn't that cute? Cute little horsey brooch. Let's see, but clasp does work. That's nice. There's no maker's mark on it, though, unfortunately, but that is cute. And then, oh, it was a brooch. It's missing the little bead. But, oh, wait, 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 wait. Here it is, here it is. Oh, it just needs to be glued back in. Okay, easy fix, but it does look like it might be missing a little pearl right there. Maybe, maybe. Oh, no maker's mark, but that is old. That's cute though. Yeah, it needs to be fixed. Okay, earrings. Let's see, an earring, so another, oh, wait, no, that's not an earring, that's a ring. That's a nice ring. It's kind of, it's all, it's kind of crooked, look at that. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's probably low quality. I don't see anything on the inside. Hmm, that might be gold over brass. I'll take a look at it later. So then, oh, this is cute. This is cute. I like that. That's cute. So a necklace, silver tone necklace, no maker's mark. That's actually really cute. Let me see. Put that, I put that on the bust. Let's see here. Oh, that is cute. It's got little crystals and these glass beads and little pave beads. That's really cute, actually. That's really cute. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So then we got. Okay. Is this a... No, this is. There's an extender right here. This is probably a layered. So there's faceted beads. Those are kind of like the beads I'm wearing right now. So that's actually really nice. Um, I think it needs a bath though, because it kind of feels feels kind of yucky. Yeah, that'll need a bath. Very long. So nope on that one. That one's got some rhinestones in it. Nope, missing a rhinestone there. I don't see a maker's mark, but there is some wear on the inside, so, yeah. And, ooh. <laughs> oh, okay, so, that's actually really nice. It's got, like, some kind of resin glass, maybe? Amber piece in there. It does look like it has been fixed by somebody um, that has been soldered. So to re uh, fix that, it probably broke off at one point. <clears throat> there is a maker's mark or what appears to be a maker's mark, but I can't read it. It looks like it has, it's worn off. So that is unfortunate that, uh, yeah, you can't even see anything on there anymore. That's actually nice. And, hmm, almost like a wizard staff. Almost, almost. So it'd probably just be crafting item. Okay, so... Here's a necklace. I don't even think that's halide. I think these are just kind of a plastic color. There's no maker's mark on there. So, yeah. 
Uh, anything sellable that uh, looks good after I wash it and clean it, I will put it at the end in the slide. And then if you like to purchase it, you can reach out. Now this is just a silver tone necklace with a pendant, swirly. That is by KC, so Kenneth Cole probably. It's in good condition. Now this one is... <clears throat> Got an earring there. Let's set that aside. This is kind of like Brighton. It's, oh, it's got a safety pin on there. Oh, that's kind of weird. This is, oh, it does have a maker's mark. Oh, that's uh, Premier Designs. So I do collect Premier Designs. Um, it has a Brighton style, but um, a lot of jewelry companies, when Brighton got really popular, they jumped on board with that and then put out their own Brighton style jewelry line. And I know Premier Design does have silver so yep so don't discard premier designs just because it's a catalog jewelry so oh this is nice um i think i'll have to go check my catalogs i bet this is in one of my catalogs so i'll set that aside and do some research on that later all right so now this one's cute this is oh no this is premier design i know this i've seen this one before so it should be on the heart on the inside yeah there it is so it says PD for Premier Design. This is in good condition. Uh, another one of their Brighton style um, necklaces. So that's just use a bath. Okay, so I got, I don't, I've gotten this one before, I believe. So this is a gold tone a necklace. So not bad. It's enameled. And it's good on the back. Looks really good. I don't see any wear, so probably just needs a bath. Good condition. Okay, we got some earrings. Earrings, earrings. Okay, more earrings. Oh, that earring's stuck on something. Oh, I got a lot of earrings. Oh gosh, did I get the notorious earring box? Oh no. Okay, I'm trying to get all these earrings out of here. Uh oh, something broke off. Oh, and that earring. Oh, if you see your mate, let me know. <laughs> okay, I think. Oh no, no. Here's another one. Here's another one. Okay, maybe. No, here's another one. Here's another one. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, oh, and there's another one. All right, I'm going to match all those up later. There's quite a few. Hopefully, uh, there were, some of them look like they were pairs. Oh, here's some more. Okay, oh, here's a, a very nice bracelet. Ooh, this matches my necklace. Ooh, I like that. This is a good condition. So it's a gun metal. Let's see here. It's got a toggle clasp and it does have a tag. It is Premier Design. Very nice. Hey, we got some Premier Design stuff in here today. Oh, that's cute. It's probably a seven. They usually do standard size seven. Okay. This is a gold tone ch chain. That is an old chain. Hmm. Yep. Okay. Set that aside. That will definitely be the bath. Oh, gosh. Uh, I saw this in the bag. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, that is stunning. Oh, it's not going to bring me to tears kind of jewelry, but man, that is stunning. And it needs a bath badly. Now it already has a, it looks like it has a dead stone right there. <clears throat> but that's okay. Oh, that is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, that is beautiful. That, that's old. Oh, oh yeah, that's going to be gorgeous once it's cleaned. Ooh, that's beautiful. Okay. Got a little tingle there. Oh, yep, another earring. Okay, so this is faceted glass beads. This is similar to the one that I got from Kristen D in my box. 
this one is by J N Y Jor Jones Jones New York. Okay. All right. Very nice. It's full tone. It's actually in good condition. I don't see any wear. So very nice. Okay. This one. Oh, this one's cute. Um. Oh, it's missing stones. Shoot. That is a bummer. Oh, that's actually really nice. Oh, and then it's got wear right here on the on the links. So, oh, that's too bad. But it's on the other side. You can't see that. I mean, this bracelet has a ton of wear. It's by Monet, and I wear it all the time. And then it's like copper on the other side. So, let's see. So, yeah. Okay, so this is another bracelet. That's really pretty. Gosh, that would match my... Necklace too. Gosh. <laughs> oh, I don't know about the stretch though on that one. Hmm. Yeah, I'll set that one aside. Okay, so we got little handmade jewelry. Looks like a little friendship bracelet. Okay, so there's a D. Oh, eh. I might give that to my sister-in-law, Devin. <laughs> I don't think she wears brooches though, but she might like that. No mini brand, so... Okay, so, oh, we're almost done, guys. This is it. That's pretty much it. Um, okay, so this is a multi-layer, multi-strand necklace. There we go. That's actually really nice. I like that. Oh, I do like that. I would wear that. I would totally wear that. Okay, I love layered necklaces. This is by the Limited. Is that, is that Anthropology? I don't, I don't remember. The Limited, maybe not. Maybe it's a store. A mall store, maybe. It's actually good condition. I like that. Give that a bath. Okay, so I'm a brass beaded with the Shambhala. Okay, closure on there. <clears throat> Another earring. More earrings. Okay, so a bracelet. That is nice. So that's a little purple necklace, or excuse me, purple beaded bracelet. It does have wear, so it's not real silver. That was on craft. And all we got left in this little basket are little rings. Oh, we have a little lone earring. Okay. Um, so there are a bunch of little crystals in here. So I think these came off that bracelet. If I can find them all, I will go ahead and... Oh, yeah, there's some more. There's more in here. So I'll go ahead and glue those back on that bracelet. And I'll set those aside for right now. All right, so these are all the rings. These, they all have wear on them, so yeah, no. Yeah, they all got wear on them, so those are all just gonna go to craft. And I'll be right back, I'm gonna match up the earrings. Okay guys, these are all the earrings I was able to match up. Now these are cute. Um, they do have a marking on there. I just can't really read it. I'm going to have to take a closer look under my microscope, but they're in good condition. Uh, these ones have a lot of wear. They're just kind of like those button earrings. No maker's mark, so that's going to go to craft. Uh, these ones as well, they were a gold tone, but now they're just turning silver, so craft. Um, these ones, These ones and these ones are... A really pretty silver uh, let's see here here's the little ball dangly balls let me see wait a minute where's my magnet okay no nope. so but they're still nice um, not you know that's getting on the jump ring no Ooh, okay I'm gonna have to test those too I'll just set those aside to test later but these are cute I'll probably put these in my own personal collection of jewelry because I do wear a lot of little hoops like that uh, these ones these are just gold tone earrings no, uh, don't think there were any, yeah, no, no markings. These ones are just little pink, little tiger eye type ones. Um, uh, these ones, uh, they say Japan on them. I'm gonna, oh no, I was gonna clean them up, but look at all that scratching on it's all in there. Okay, no, nope, never mind. Craft. Uh, these ones, they broke, and they actually, it looked like they were on, they look, they're on this little ba earring back, but they're broken, so craft. Um, these say sterling silver on them, so I gotta test these ones. Uh, I'm gonna set those aside to test a little bit. Um, these have way too much wear. I'm not even gonna bother with them, so those are craft. Uh, these are cute little earrings. I think these went with that um, gold tone necklace, that big one, because they're the same shape, so might be a set. 
And then these ones, these are just, oh, those might be glass. Yeah. Yeah, I think those are might be glass. Uh, no makers mark on them. They're going to get a bath. Uh, let's see. Then these ones are really cute, too. I liked these. There is, I can't tell if that's wear or just tarnish. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to test those ones, too. And then these ones are just little gold tone danglies. Those are cute. Very nice. Oh, oh no, that doesn't belong in that pile. Uh, these, I suspect, are onyx. I will have to check because um, I feel just like the onyx necklace I'm wearing right now. Um, they are heavy, and they do have a patent pending or a patent number on them, so I'll have to look that up. And then these are so funky. I love these. These were really popular in the 90s. They are pretty dirty, but I know with the bath, they might clean up. Uh, I think these are just so cool. These were real popular in the 90s. So I'm going to set that aside. Um, I did show you guys these ones in the beginning. They do have some scratching, so craft. And then these ones I thought were cool, too. Um, they are tarnishing, though. Um, if, I think, yeah, I think these are... I think these are brass, and so it's got that uh, patina tarnish. I bet these will clean up really nicely. Um, I'll probably try and get those to clean up and see how they look, but they're actually really nice. These are nice, and they're kind of big, and they're kind of heavy. They're, they're really pretty, so I'll give those a bath, and I'll be right back, so I'm going to go ahead and test those items. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and test these. Oh, that had a good scratch on it, too. Ooh, okay, so there's those ones. Um, okay. Ooh, I think this is one of those silver pieces that's coated to keep it from tarnishing. Oh, that's going to be, yeah, that's going to be difficult to do. I had that issue with a dolphin brooch in the past. Yeah, I can't even get it to scratch. Gosh darn it, because they coat it with something to make it so it doesn't tarnish. Um, yeah, it does stay sterling silver right there on the backing. So <clears throat> I'm going to set that one aside for right now. Okay, got a small scratch for that. And then this was that necklace. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this. Oh, no. But, oh, wow. That was the best scratch. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to set these ones aside. I bet they are uh, sterling silver. I hate it when it bubbles up like that. All right, so the chain is sterling silver. Um, gosh. So those did, there is a, because I was only able to get a small scratch, so it is silver. Uh, you can kind of see it there. It is silver. No, these ones are not silver. Those earrings, so these earrings are not silver. But these, and this is... And I will try and test those ones. I don't want to, uh, because it's thin. It's thin silver, so oh, let me see. I want to bend it. No, it's not going to do it. Well, let's see. No, it's not a good enough scratch to even register. Okay, so I'll try these out another time. But I think they are silver. They just, uh just have some stuff on there that protects it from tarnishing. All right, so these two are silver, which is weird because this is an infinity chain. There's no there's no clasp on there at all, huh? All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and wash all this stuff and I'll be right back.
All right, guys, so this is a jewelry from the first group that went in the machine. As you can see, they cleaned up very nicely. I mean, look at that one. Wow. So uh, I only put these in the ultrasonic cleaner for a few minutes. I lay them on a towel to dry. I undo the clasp. Anything with rhinestones or cabochons, I will put them in front of my fan. I put a fan on, and I let these dry overnight, and they're perfect the next morning. Now, as you can see, this one, this beautiful thing, look at that. That cleaned up nicely. It had all kinds of like funky stuff in here, probably skin. Now that is not a dead rhinestone, which I thought was earlier. I think it's just the coating on there from the AB stone, because look at, you can't even tell. I think it's just the different angle, but oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is a stunning piece. This is something I'm probably gonna go ahead and keep. and. Yeah, so just make sure that you put everything in front of a fan. Um, I've never had any problems doing it this way. Uh, I've never had any rhinestones that die. So, yeah, that's the way you do it, guys. All right, guys, everything has been washed and dried. No issues. Everything turned out fantastic. Everything feels great. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go over some highlighted pieces with you before I end this video. Um, I'm going to go over these ones first, and then I'm going to go over some more, and then I'll end the video. Uh, I wanted to go over these ones with you because these are all premier designs. Um, they're all premier design pieces, and they are actually older premier design pieces. I had to bust out my really old catalogs <laughs> for these and I can only go back to 2009. Um, so here's my oldest catalog. Um, what I'm going to do in the slides, I'm just going to lay out each piece on the page uh, that it's featured in and that way you can read the information about them. So really quickly, uh, so um, I wanted to go over these with you guys because a lot of people don't realize um, Premier Designs uses, you know, sterling silver, rhodium, um, gold plated. They use that. They use real stones and crystals on their jewelry. So a lot of people, when they see the tag, they're just like, oh, Premier Designs, eh, a dollar. So, you know, I mean, it's really up to you guys what you want to sell them for. Um, but uh, I collect Premier Designs, so I'm like super duper happy about this box. Now, this piece right here, it was featured in 2009. It is rhodium plated, um, and it is a couple layers of rhodium plated. If you are not familiar with rhodium, it is more expensive than 925 sterling silver. Now, this here, they did use real crystals on the little hearts, too, so I'm, I'm really super happy about that. Uh, so this one is a gunmetal. It is a bracelet. Uh, you would have seen me... Um, in there it is not uh, signed they did not sign a lot of their stuff uh, so it it is I believe hematite hematite and gunmetal yeah I think that's what that is and then this uh, I could not find this one in the catalog it is an, a much older piece uh, so I don't know what it is it might be onyx or it might be glass I'm not really sure on that one um, it is, I believe, a standard size 7 because they um, a lot of their pieces were either a 7 to a 7.5 on their bracelets. Um, so this one also came out the same time as this necklace, and it is actually a imitation rhodium plated. Uh, I don't know what that means. It's just silver tone, I guess. But it did use real crystals um, on the bracelet. It is really cute. Uh, since these are from 2009, um, that explains why they lost their stretch. So I'm actually going to um, re-string these because they're in really good condition. I don't even think they've ever been worn. Now this one here is in excellent condition. Um, again, I could not find this in the catalog. It is probably silver plated or rhodium plated uh, because uh, uh, Premier Designs does use real silver, or sterling silver and rhodium when they plate their stuff. So um, but yeah, that definitely has that older mark in there on the back side of the heart. And I don't think this has been worn. There's nowhere at all on the leather rope. Now these, I did not know that these were, oh, sorry for the shaking. I did not know that these were, um, Premier Designs until I was checking out the catalog. These are silver plated clasps and they are a uh, mini faux pearl. So it is a necklace and bracelet set. 
Uh, again, I will put the pieces on the page that they're featured in. That way, in the slides at the end, you can see them. Now this one, oh, I, I absolutely love this one. This is my favorite. Um, so like I mentioned before, when Brighton got really popular, um, a lot of companies jumped on board that and Premier Designs, they put out their own version of their Brighton pieces. Uh, so this is silver plated. It is just like Brighton. It has a few different layers of sterling silver on there. Uh, so it is feels fantastic. It feels just like a Brighton. If I closed my eyes and had a Brighton in one hand and I had this one in the other hand, I would not be able to tell the difference. Um, I think just with Brighton, you're paying for the name. That's it. So uh, it's a very good quality. Now this pendant, oh, this is gorgeous. I love this. Um, so you had to buy these separately. They did not come together. Uh, again, this is that silver plating that they do, uh, very thick silver plated. Now this is a citrine yellow uh, cubic zirconian. It is really big, look at that. <laughs> so um, this is my favorite one. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna list these items. I might list them. Um, we'll see. I don't know yet. <laughs> so I may just keep them for myself because I do, um, I do collect premier designs. So, um, so let's go to the next ones. Okay. So this is the second group of jewelry. Oh, I had so much fun researching this jewelry. That is a passion of mine. If you guys watch my videos, I love researching jewelry. Uh, I just absolutely love it. So uh, these earrings, they are sterling silver. Um, it would not test on my stone because I could not get it to scratch. And the reason for that is because of a special coating. It's a technique that they do. Um, they put on jewelry to make it look pristine. These are actually from the 1950s, 1960s, uh, and they look brand new. Uh, that is just the way they are. Um, I did look up the company. The company's name is Star Art. And... Um, I looked in my book from 1947 and they were not listed in that book. However, when I looked them up in my book from 1955, they were listed in there. They are from Rhode Island. They're a very small company, so they weren't around for very long. However, they do have a following and um, it is Star Art. It's two separate words, Star Art. You can look it up. They deal with precious metals only. That's, that's it. That's all they deal with dealed with. Now this is Crown Trafari. Isn't that cute? It's green rhinestones. I think those are cattails, right? That's what it looks like to me, cattails. Oh, they're gorgeous. Uh, they cleaned up really nice in that uh, ultrasonic uh, cleaning machine. Um, I did not have a problem putting them in because there's little teeny prongs on there that were keeping the rhinestones in. So is in great condition. I will probably probably <laughs> probably be listing these on eBay for sale. I haven't decided yet, but um, couldn't find this exact um, brooch. But um, I did look up Crown Trafari Green Rhinestone Brooch, and whoa. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to wait and see on that one. Um, I got to talk to Paul and see what he thinks. Uh, so these earrings, I did look at the patent number. Um, so patent numbers can help you narrow down your jewelry um, by decade because patent numbers are good for, I think, 20 years. And so I did look this one up, this patent number, and the backy earring back was used by two different designers from the 1950s to the 1960s. Um, I excluded the first one. Uh, it was very well known designer, but this designer doesn't do jewelry like this, not in this black um, onyx. Uh, but the second designer does. They actually have quite a few pieces. Um, so it leads me to believe that these are made by Sherman. Uh, Sherman um, did these uh, earrings. There's a lot of black jet and onyx that Sherman created or designed. Um, so I'm actually going to keep these because these go with my black onyx necklaces. Now this one here, oh my goodness, isn't that a beauty? 
Oh, I love it. This is made by Kramer. <laughs> so um, I looked this up online. There's only one person. They are selling this brooch on Etsy and they actually have the matching earrings and the only the earrings have the maker's mark on them. So the brooch does not have the maker's mark. So Kramer, I, I didn't realize this because I'm not really familiar with Kramer. I don't come across it very often. I think this is actually the only the second time I've come across it. Uh, so Kramer uses real crystals and I guess well known for using really big crystals and uh, layering them like this. So uh, I guess this Kramer has a following too. So that is beautiful. Um, I absolutely love this piece. It is gorgeous. I love the sparkle on this one. Uh, this is going into my personal collection. Uh, so, and this, this is actually, it is not amber. It is a lucite and it is a, what they call amber lucite. And this was really popular, I think in the sixties and seventies. Um, so I did have this cleaned. Um, I'm glad I did because when I watched this video, <laughs> when I put it on my hand to wear it, I didn't realize there was all kinds of skin in between that kind of grossed me out. But anyway, so I'm just glad it's clean. Um, I did do the salt test to make sure that it wasn't amber and it's not because I cannot find my black light flashlight, but, um, uh, yeah, it's lucite. Uh, I do like collecting plastic jewelry. I love it. I love lucite. Um, uh, Bake light, celluloid, um, thermo set. I love all that stuff. Um, so that is, um, I think, I think I might keep that too. Gosh, uh, I have a hard time getting rid of jewelry. <laughs> so, uh, and then this, this is from, I believe, 1950s, 1960s. So that, like I said, that was very popular, um, 1960s especially. Uh, so here we go. So they came in all different kinds, different strands, um, graduated or they were all the same, um, but very, very popular. This book is for 1965 guys. So, uh, uh. all right guys. So what did you think? Um, what did I think? I thought this was a freaking great box. Yes, I did. I thought this was so, so great. I'm so glad that, um, I don't know what it was that told me to buy that, but I did, and I'm so glad that I did. Now, how um, I think this is a good box. I had 40 pieces. After cleaning everything, I had 40 pieces in the whole box that was wearable. I do not look at Goodwill boo boxes as sellable because I keep some of the pieces. To me, it's wearable. How many items are good condition and that are wearable because I keep some of the items, I give some of the items away as gifts, and I think there's only a few items that I actually do sell. But uh, for wearable, 40 pieces, $50, $1.25. I thought this was a, such a great deal. I think that the New Jersey location did a great job um, packing and putting everything together and it got here on a timely manner. I thought it was really great. Um, it didn't smell, <laughs> it wasn't moist. Uh, it was dirty, but yeah, it's dirty. When people donate it, it's dirty because they've worn it. Um, but it cleaned up very nicely and I'm very, very happy <laughs> with this box. So um, I wanna say thank you guys for watching me. Uh, let me know in the comments if you thought this was a really good box. Uh, stick around for the slideshow because I do put uh, everything, I take pictures and I put it in a slideshow. That way you can kind of see it a little bit closer even if it's for sale or not for sale. And if the items are for sale, they will have a price in the top corner and a number, <laughs> in a number. And so if you're interested, just reach out. My information is down below and Thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye now.